It is understandable that first responders like police, EMTs, and firefighters might suffer some trauma after a natural disaster and saving victims from wildfires or an earthquake. But what about meteorologists? They're often left helpless watching severe weather like a tornado unfold and causing havoc in their own town. Inside Science. I worked the April 27th, 2011 super outbreak of tornadoes in North Alabama. And I realized after working that event that I wasn't necessarily equipped to handle the stress and the emotional toll that, that we can experience when we work significant events. I thought maybe I was the only one who had ever experienced something like that. Maybe that I wasn't mature enough maybe to, to deal with these events. It was early on in my career and maybe I just wasn't seasoned enough to deal with it. But the more I opened up and talked to other meteorologists, the more I realized a lot of people are dealing with this issue. We're living in that headspace for days before the event. Then we work the hours and days of operational response to the event, issuing warnings, communicating with our partners, hearing the impacts of as a tornado has hit, you know, where is the damage, how extensive is it, and there's a lot of adrenaline that's going on with that as you're just keeping focus on the mission and serving people. Then you get to the post-event phase where you're going out and serving the damage, and we're trained as scientists on how to assess the strength of wind damage from a tornado, how to evaluate how much damage occurred at this house and therefore what was the wind speeds, which is all important for doing research afterwards and helping prepare for the next event. But we don't train people on how to deal with the walking up to a house that you have to survey and there's a family picking through the rubble. How do you relate to them while also trying to get the science done? I've always been surprised on surveys of how much people just want to share their story so many of them are so excited to meet the meteorologist who maybe worked the event to help warn them. They got to their shelter. You hear the stories of the fear and the hope and the survival over and over and over again as you do the survey. So you're not only dealing with your own emotions, but the people that you see, um, that you're dealing with their emotions coming at you because you know, we live in the communities we serve and some forecasters can be at the office while their family's at home taking shelter from a tornado. This is Inside Science. Inside Science. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.